I would like to welcome my classes in ICT 111 class. Our video lecture for, lecture for today will be about our unit two, that's about data types or the what we call VB.NET data types. So without much ado, let me share with you this presentation that will help me discuss to you the content of our topic. Okay, so I would like to give you some idea or basic knowledge about the data types before we apply the concept to our VB.NET programming. So what do we mean anyway by data types? So in a programming language, it describes what type of data a variable can hold. And when we declare a variable, we have to tell the compiler about what type of the data that variable can hold or which data type the variable belongs to. So for the syntax, if we are to apply this in our VB.NET programming, we have a deem. When we see deem, that is to declare. Then you specify a variable name. And then as, then you specify a data type. Okay, so another example will be this. Deem count as integer. Count there is a variable name. And then integer is the data type. Okay, so there are various or different data types. So first we have here the Boolean. Boolean variables are stored 16 bit numbers and it can hold only true or false value. For example, beam check as Boolean. We specify here or our variable here is check and our data type that the specified is Boolean. Okay, so let's try to move on to the next data type. Another data type is the what we call integer. So integer variables are stored assigned 32-bit integer values in the range of negative 2,147,483,648 to positive 2,147,000. 483,647. Uh, okay, so this are the particular range of the integer data type. For example, beam count as integer. Count here is the variable, and we uh, declare it as integer variable. Our third data type is string. String variables, or a string can also be considered as text data type. So string variables are stored any number of alphabetic, numerical, and special characters. Its range from, or it ranges from zero to approximately two billion Unicode characters. So we would use that certain data type in our declaration. Our example is beam address as string. Address is a variable, and uh, we declare that particular variable as a string data type. Or it stores a string data type. So our fourth data type is the long integer. A long integer is a natural number whose value is between negative 2,147,483,648. So and positive 2,147,483,642. Examples are the population of a city, the distance between places of different countries, the number of words of a book, and to declare a variable that can hold a very large natural number, uh, we have to use the long keyword. For example, deem population as long. The population here is a variable and we declare the population as long integer, something like that. Okay, so that's about long integer. Fifth data type is single. A single is a decimal number whose value can range from negative 3.40282. Times 10 to the power raised to the power of 38 and negative 1.01298 times 10 raised to the power of 45. That if the number is negative. 
or it could be 5 and 3.402823 times 10 raised to the power of 38 if the number is positive. Example, deem distance as single. The distance here is our variable and single is its uh, data type. Our sixth uh, data type is double. This is used for a variable that would hold numbers that range from 1.797693134862312 times 10 raised to the power of 308 to negative 4.9406564584124 times 10 raised to the power of 324. That is if the number is negative or from 1.797693134862311 times 10 raised to the power of 308 to 4.9406564584124 times 10 raised to the power of 324. That if the number is positive. Example, beam distance as double. Distance is a variable and we declare it as double by data type. Let's move on to our seventh data type. We have date. A date is a numeric value that represents the number of days that have elapsed since a determined period. A time is a numeric value that represents the number of seconds that have elapsed in a day. Example, deem sales date as date. Sales date here is our variable and date is its data type. We declare it as date by data type. Let's move on. So again, the vb.net uses the dim, okay, the dim uh, term there in our uh, code because that means it is a reserved word to define a variable with a specific type. That is a reserved word to define a variable with a specific type. So to define a variable i as an integer, you would type dim i as integer. i is a variable, then integer is its data type. You can also assign an initial value to a variable using the dim statement. So this is our uh, sample code on vb.net data types. You can uh, try to copy paste this from your handouts. Okay, or type it directly to your uh, vb.net uh, uh, code window, then try to run the program and see how it works. So if you can see in this uh, program, we have this uh, button, okay? And if we click on that button, there are message boxes that will pop up, okay? So this is the code how that program works. So we have here uh, declare, a check variable as Boolean value. And we assigned a value to that check variable. The value is true or false. So since we specify a specific value to that check variable as true, which could only anyway be specified by true or false no? because it is declared as Boolean, okay? So then there is a message box that will appear, okay, if you click at that button, no? That says the value assigned for check is, okay, then uh, we have here a closing, no meaning it will be the text or a string, okay, this will be the message that will appear at the message box. And here is to put together, okay, the assigned value for check and that is true. Okay, later I'll demo to you how this works, okay. Then we again uh, declare another variable, no, which is count as integer. And we assign a value to that count uh, variable, which is uh, 100. And 100 is an integer, okay? So after this first message box, another message box will appear uh, with a message that the value holding count is, okay, so whatever is the value we assigned for count, that will appear, you no? Know, here, it will be put together, this text, and then the value assigned for count, that is 100. Then after this message box, after clicking OK button, then another message box will pop up. Okay, so this message box will contain this message. Okay, so in this message, we have here contain the, the STR, okay, va va variable. 
So we declare here str as string. And we assign a string a data type to this str variable that is string test. Okay, that means this message box will display a message saying the value holding str is, okay, then it will display here, okay, the value we assign to str that is string test, uh, string test. So the output will be this. So in the first message box, this will be the message box that will appear. The value assigned for check is true, okay? After clicking OK, another message box will pop up. The value holding count is 100, okay? So OK. After clicking OK, another message box will pop up. And then it will again display this message. The value holding str is string test. Okay, so that's how uh, it works, okay? We assigned a certain uh, uh, variable. We, we create or name variables and we assign a certain data type to it. And then it will be implemented by the BB.NET application. So that would be all for our uh, data type uh, topic. I will hope you've learned from this presentation. And uh, don't hesitate to comment down below if you have some more uh, clarifications or comment on this. And of course, uh, would like to give you an actual demonstration before this uh, video lecture ends on how we uh, do it in a uh, in our uh, was this uh, vb.net uh, virtual uh, environment so i would like to share with you my screen okay i would like to share the entire screen okay screen so click uh, share so as you can see uh, i am right now uh, loading the visual studio <laughs> looking for my Microsoft uh, Visual Studio, okay, here. I would like to give you a simple demonstration as to how that uh, particular uh, data type works if you are to apply it in our programming. So that's it. Okay, so I just would like to just copy paste that uh, uh, code I have given you in our handouts. Okay, so we have here, beam check as Boolean. Start tapping there, no? Then paste it in our code the window later. So I'll just add a button that will display those back message boxes. I'll just uh, name the text uh, here, click. And I'll just uh, put here some text on the form. Say hello. Okay. Okay. So I'll be adding that code in the button. Double click, then paste here. You can anyway type it if you would like to experience how the typing goes, okay? And uh, I believe that the, the code is correctly typed because there are no errors as I paste it here. I'll just run the code. Okay, there are errors. No. I think I have error here, errors here. Count. Okay, so let's, what happened? No. Okay. Check as Boolean. Ah, okay, 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 I found the error. Like double yung answer here. So anyway, it's fixed now. Let's run again. So as I click the, the button, the value assigned for check is true. Click OK, and the message box will appear. The value holding count is 100. Click OK. And the, a value, the value holding SR is string text. Click OK. OK, so I have explained no, earlier, earlier the content of uh, the, the, I mean the, the whole code, no? And I just ran it, no? Using this uh, uh, application or this, uh, environment of our VB.net. So that would be all for today. I hope to see you in our next lecture video for the next uh, topic of our course. Okay, so God bless everyone. Thank you.